renowned novelist James Comey responded to some questions about the Durham report on MSNBC Tuesday. And yes, I said renowned novelist. He was out promoting his new novel. And in the course of this promotion, he was interrupted by uh, some, some tough questions that should have been probably much tougher by Jonathan Lemire and Willie Geist over on Morning Joe. Uh, it's pretty interesting, actually, how he responded to these questions, because Comey, remember, actually declined to cooperate with the Durham report. He was not interviewed by John Durham, and he gets some questions from Geist and Lemire that push a little bit on this and says right off the bat here that Republican calls to defund the FBI or take a sledgehammer or blowtorch or whatever it is they say to the FBI, quote, are just a continuing series of, attack, of attacks on the rule of law. They're taking a flamethrower to the FBI and DOJ because it's a threat. That's really rich coming from James Comey, and this is exactly why I wanted to talk about it today, because the more anti-populists criticize populists for legitimate points of argumentation and legitimate gripes with the political establishment, the more populism they're going to get. It's remarkably counterproductive and self-serving and also just plainly stupid and bad for the country. But to hear James Comey say uh, that the FBI and DOJ is a threat, it's like, yes, absolutely, that is a threat to uh, a duly elected president of the United States, that would be Donald Trump, uh, who you targeted by breaking the rule of law, as the Durham report clearly showed. And that's the value in talking about this. I said a couple of weeks ago that when people start going deep on the Durham report and the FBI and the CIA and Danchenko and all of this, my eyes will sometimes glaze over because it's intense intentionally convoluted. It was intentionally involving all of these uh, shell groups, and you have to know FISA law, and you have to know everything about Carter Page and uh, George Papadopoulos and all of these names. It's, it's Watergate-esque and even more complicated to fully understand the scheme that was perpetrated. Um, but the more you dive into it, the more like disgusting it looks. And I think just the surface-level comment by Comey, in contrast with what the Durham report has from emails and all of that stuff on Comey himself, is a really perfect reason to focus in on the broad takeaway of the Durham report, which is that no policy, you know, there, there may be some tweaks you can make to the FBI, but Durham concludes, and this is like a lifetime respected, I mean, the, even Chris Murphy from Connecticut, where Durham was, was working when he was appointed uh, to do this investigation and then made special counsel, said was respected. Um, somebody that had, you know, pretty bipartisan appeal. Uh, Durham says, short of basically a um, overhaul of FBI personnel suddenly rediscovering their sense of integrity, you're going to continue having problems at this institution that has vast powers, extra constitutional powers over the average American. And you get back to the John Adams quote, which is, you know, our, our constitution was made wholly for a, a moral, um, I think he said also in religious people, there are all kinds of quotes from the founders talking about how the small r republicanism, constitutional republic only works when you have like a moral consensus and a good moral consensus. Uh, and James Comey, uh, his idea of what rule, constitutes rule of law is laughable. It fails on its face. And we can get into a little bit more of why. Uh, Comey continued to say in this interview, I think Trump poses a near existential threat to the rule of law. He will do everything he can in a new term to try to tear down the institutions that he sees as threats and to dismantle them and the people who occupy them, the apolitical people who occupy them, apolitical, okay. So there's a lot on the ballot in 2024 if he is a candidate, but the rule of law, in my view, is at the top of the list. Okay, so um, you get Chuck Ross over at the Washington Free Beacon, who's covered this stuff really effectively, um, who says in response, in reality, the Durham report revealed extensive evidence that Comey was far more involved in Crossfire Hurricane, that was the investigation into Russian collusion, and the push for the phony FISA than he has previously claimed, that's the FISA into Carter Page. The report also revealed that Comey refused to cooperate with Durham. Okay, don't let your eyes glaze over yet, because we can go even more to the 30,000 foot level and just put this really simply, um, Durham found that Comey had a very different standard for how he treated the Clinton investigation and how he treated the Trump investigation. That is to say, the FBI under Comey, and including Comey, checked a lot of more boxes in investigating Hillary Clinton than they did in Donald Trump. Comey was repeatedly asking, where is the FISA? Where is the FISA to Andrew McCabe when it came to Carter Page? We know, I mean, someone was actually convicted of fudging an email. Uh, that would be Kevin Kleinsmith 
in order to illegally surveil an American citizen, Carter Page. But there you have the rule of law right in itself. Rule of law means equal enforcement of the law. That is part of our, our legal and cultural understanding of what the rule of law is. So when Durham shows pretty persuasively that James Comey and the entire FBI under his leadership had provided very different and unequal treatment to Hillary Clinton, one presidential candidate, Democratic presidential candidate, and Donald Trump, the Republican presidential candidate, that in and of itself shows that he violated the rule of law. He basically just shattered it um, in pursuit of this. And then you can add how the FBI under his watch illegally surveilled a, an American citizen and uh, violated the spirit of FISA law, um, if not the, the actual law itself. And there you have, uh, you have the rule of law out the window. So when Donald Trump comes in and says, uh, I'm going to take a flamethrower to the FBI and DOJ, that's call me lamented, it's because of you. It's because you broke, you violated the rule of law that populists are now saying there needs to be a flamethrower taken to the FBI and DOJ. And guess what? They're not wrong. They're not wrong that the FBI and DOJ are fundamentally broken institutions. Even again, John Durham came to that conclusion after years of investigation. Somebody who had pretty bipartisan sense of uh, respect has, has worked around the FBI for a long time. If you have even that, um, and, and if you have persuasive evidence that you, James Comey, violated the rule of law, that your staff violated the rule of law, and you are the ones, gri you're griping about populists coming in and saying the institution that you led um, and that conclusively persuade, like it con conclusively failed to uphold the rule of law, uh, for you to come in and, and say that Donald Trump poses an existential threat to it when you have already been the biggest threat to the rule of law. Uh, because you actually, in a position of power, violated it. Um, people are, of course, going to start to want to fight fire with fire. You know, they're going to start justifying violations of the rule of law in order to get back to a position where we can uphold the rule of law, and that's wrong. But it's because of you, James, Com James Comey. It's because you violated the rule of law first. So if you're if you're worried about it be better. And that's exactly what John Durham prescribed in the Durham report. Um, that's the scariest part of all of it. He concluded that, you know, those tweaks can be made, but no policy alone is going to fix the FBI. It actually needs to be uh, full of people who wield their power responsibly. And so long as you have James Comey out there talking about he, you know, he made a couple mistakes and, you know, some boxes weren't checked that they should have been. Um, that's not the full picture because when you compare it as Durham did to what they did for Hillary Clinton versus what they did to Donald Trump, uh, you see very clearly where they failed to uphold the rule of law. And I just think this is, is worth talking about because that one big takeaway from the Durham report from John Durham himself, you know, somebody who's been a career in this type of position, a serious person says, uh, short of having, you know, an integrity revolution at the FBI. These problems are not going to go away. That matters for the average person because the FBI wields enormous power over your life. And they're out here uh, saying basically that, uh, the, that Donald Trump is the only threat to the rule of law. Not them, even though it's, it's pretty clear that they violate the rule of law. Hey guys, ready or not, 2024 is fully upon us now. And Sagar and I have been brainstorming ways that we can really up our game for this critical election. Yeah, we rely on our premium subs to expand our coverage, to add staff staff to upgrade the studio. We just want to give you the best independent coverage of this election, which is possible. So if you can help us out, become a premium subscriber today, breakingpoints.com, or the link is down here in the description video. It really means the world to us. And if you like what we're all about, this is the best possible way to keep us 100% independent, working only for you.